let's go to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 7. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. When a man's ways, or woman's ways, please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him, my Lord. So, how many of us, or how true is this scripture true in our lives? For how many people, or how many of us, is this scripture true in our lives? I would have to say, not too many people. Why do I say this? For one, not too many people are following God's rules and regulations. Not only that, listen, the Bible tells us on how we should treat our enemies, right? So, if your enemy hungers, you should feed them. If your enemy thirsts, you should give them drink. If they need clothes, a place to stay, so on and so on, we have to try our best to accommodate our enemies. Not too many people are willing to do that. The more and more people that I speak to, not everyone, I am beginning to see a trend, or I have been seeing a trend. Many people are caring about self, how they feel, what they think, how they see this world as. They are not too concerned about the feelings of others. They are not considered, they are not considering or they don't really care so much about how their actions are affecting others. It is all about them. That is not right. That is not right. I know for myself, when it comes down to this scripture here, let me say this. Let's say that there is a person always treating you in a negative way. But let's say that you change and you don't respond negatively to their negative words and actions. Let's say when they are in need, you are always there to help them. So you are responding positively to them and you are helping them as well. How long can your enemy treat you poorly? How long? Not even a year. If you are constantly doing things for your enemies, if you are constantly responding positively to your enemies, day in and day out, their conscience will pretty much hurt them so badly that it is going to force them to change how they treat you. The reason why they are continuing to talk crazy to you because of how you are responding back to them. Well, Kevin, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that I should just take it? Yes. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what I am telling you to do. Take it and respond positively back to that person. Well, Kevin, you know, when I was young, I was hurt, I was abused, and I just can't take anymore. Well, continue to sin, then die, then go to hell. Very simple. There are so many incentives 
to serving God. I may have to make a video about that. It is going to take some research. Maybe, I don't know how long. Hours. <laughs> I may have to do a video of the promises that God gives us when we choose to serve him. The reason why you believe that all there is to God is praying and reading your Bible and going to sleep. No. There are so many great promises that God gives us. This is why I tell you what you need to do is read your Bible more and pray more. There is no reason for all of us, even I, to stay ignorant to God's words, to God's word. Bible. <sighs> My Lord. And let me say this. Some of my enemies, not all, well, I don't think I have too many enemies. I don't think I do. Two of the enemies, three, four, let me say five or six of my enemies, about five, I guess, they treat me well now. Why? Because I do not respond to the negative things they do to me. I am doing well. I am giving my enemies stuff even when they know they don't deserve it. I am giving it to them anyways. You can backstab me. You can talk behind my back. You can curse me. I am going to do well towards you. Why? Because the Bible tells me to. The Bible tells me to. And I know that the Bible works. I want to be connected to God's promises. That is what is important to me. I want to be connected to his promises. I don't want to be disconnected. So many great incentives to serving God. You don't know of them because you choose not to study the Bible, which I need to do more of myself, which I am doing now. <laughs> this scripture here should be prevalent in our lives. It really should. Because it works for me. As I always say, I am just an average guy, perhaps even below average or under average, <laughs> way under average. <laughs> if I can do it, anyone in this whole world can do it because, hey, I am this below under average guy, right? So since I am so low and you may be higher than I, right? Yes. You should be able to do it as well. If it works for Kev, it is going to work for you. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.